Hello from ChainAsia.com, this is Mok Cho Si. Today I would like to do a review on this pistol here. This is an airsoft pistol. The WE brand uh, High Kappa 3.8. Take a look close up. Um, it's small, compact, and so you know we don't need to do all the scanning like that. Okay. And the other side. Uh, just a lovely notice here. Um, when you buy the uh, High Kappa or any WE brand pistol, this thing here, um, they have a sticker over it. So uh, if you didn't peel off the sticker, you can't see the WE logo clearly. Okay, close up. See, it looks like that. Nice, eh? So pay attention to this. There's a sticker. And also here, usually they have a sticker saying made in Taiwan. The pistol here is fully, um, not fully, but partially made of metal. Um, the frosty silver here, the frosty kind of matte silver here is all metal. But then the shiny part right here, the, the whole grip, the shiny part, they are made of um, plastic. But the safety here, the safety here is metal. The trigger... The um, safety on both sides and also the hammer is all metal. And of course the barrel is metal as well. Okay, the barrel is metal barrel, polished, very nice finish. And you can see that it's a very thick outer barrel there. If a nice brass barrel is installed. For Canadian version, it comes with a extended barrel to about here and then also a mock suppressor because they need to boost up the FPS for the import uh, law and when you buy it you you see the gun come with the longer barrel and it's ugly so you can disassemble the gun and um, change the barrel yourself so that's what I did and it also came with the stock barrel too so you can just put that on and uh, it'll be fine here you see the mag release it slides out the mag easily it's a nice full-size magazine, green gas magazine, uh, inject the gas here, uh, BBs goes in here, uh, okay, like that. So, the, um, there we go, it's locked back. The pistol here, it's very, very, very fun to shoot. It's small, but you can see the blowback is hard. See? Pretty good kick, <laughs> especially with a lot of acting here. But Well, yeah, you see, it's very fun to shoot because the pistol is small, but the, all the internals inside are uh, reinforced, strengthened, like, uh, bulked up stuff. And it's not like those cheap bought metal stuff that you usually get with a cheaper pistol. All the internals are upgraded uh, when you buy it. So they put nice, nice internal there. And it gives you a very strong kick. Even the pistol is small, it kicks better than some of the larger uh, 1911 pistols. See, very nice kick. And also, um, the mag, it, uh, it will cool down very fast. So just, uh, just be aware of that. And th the first thing that I noticed with uh, this pistol here is this. You see the stamp? Very fun touch. Nice touch up here, eh? The sight, okay, it's um, the, the sight, the iron sight. You see uh, here the iron sight. It's not adjustable and that's the worst thing about this pistol. They should have put a an adjustable sight. Because the gun doesn't shoot very straight, it shoot a bit to the right side and a bit too high and stuff like that. So you need to learn how to aim with this thing. Uh, if, if yours doesn't come shooting straight, then too bad, okay? You need to learn how to aim. Well, basically the pistol shoots um, uh, not very high FPS. It shoots about 300 or so FPS only. And uh, like with normal, normal BBs. So, and you don't expect a lot of power with this kind of pistol, but it's a fun action shooter. And also, um, if you have a few spare mags, you can avoid the cooldown issues and you can keep 
doing reload, shoot, and then change another mag, reload and shoot, and so the other mag can uh, take a rest. So yeah, the, the best thing about the pistol is the realism. The kick, okay, and um, the, the kick of the pistol, the recoil, the feeling, the compact size, this is all very good uh, for this pistol and you can't find it in other pistols. Even the Glocks, the 1911 and stuff like that, you don't have that kind of compact and strong kick combo. So this is very fun to play with. Now let's go to the range and we'll shoot some target to test the accuracy and also we'll try to do some playing playing together. Let's go! Okay guys, here is the bullseye target. We're sending about 15 feet and we are using point uh, three zero grand aluminum BBs which is not the stuff you usually use for airsoft and also of course inside the high kappa see aluminum BBs shiny they're not aluminum coated but aluminum made BBs okay let's try to shoot this uh, we're shooting the center target and I am aiming uh, directly on the center targets and not trying to cope with the sight and stuff like that. So you can see how the gun groups. Okay, let's go. Okay, I, sh I shot 17 shot. Very impressive grouping. For such a uh, small pistol, you see, we got a decent group here. Very, very impressive groupings. And the recoil remains very strong. I was doing rapid shooting and not very, um, like trying to aim and shoot like that. If I'm rested, it'll be much better. Now let's try to do some destruction. Okay guys, here we go. We got some soup cans and also a clay disc target. You don't usually shoot these with airsoft guns, but we're using aluminum BBs today, so it should be okay. Let's take a look at this. Wow, it's shattered. Nice and banging hard. You see, the aluminum BBs can shatter these clay disc targets that is meant for air gun use. And also, on these cans, we did some minor dents. Uh, it, it didn't punch through the can, but you can see it's very fun and it actually dent the can badly. Like here. Okay. So, yeah, it's pretty impressive. With um, such a small, tiny pistol, you don't expect that kind of power to uh, bust the clay this and stuff like that. Impressive stuff. Okay. So, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.